I just got back from my first ever trip to Hong Kong, and the number one question I've been receiving from people is, how was Hong Kong? What was it like? What did you see? How was Victoria Bay? How was the peak? How was the night market? Truthfully, I didn't have an opportunity in the 10 days that I was there by choice to see any of these amazing sites. I was there to do a job, to do my, my international referee exam, and also to work on the spotting and loading team. And this is what I wanted to share with you. Another gift of being sober, but a gift of valuing where we are and not really having any regrets. I spent my entire trip, bar the Saturday afternoon where I had an opportunity to walk around, either at the hotel and then straight to the venue and straight back. The days ran in the hotel. Um, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm leaving this in. The days ran from 6 a.m., breakfast at 6.30, at the venue at quarter past seven, and then back to the hotel at 9.30 at night. On average, we had four sessions a day, and I would ref one and then work with the spotting and loading team for the remaining three. We had two teams in Hong Kong, and while one team was working with the spotting and loading, the other team would rest or be on standby or be touring. I chose to work with both teams at every session because I wanted to upskill and learn as much as I could about spotting and loading as quickly as I could. I had the opportunity to work with, in my opinion and many other people's opinion, the best spotting and loading teams in the world. And I also had an opportunity to ref as many sessions at an international level in, uh, as possible. And I grabbed both of those opportunities because they were more valuable to me than touring and seeing the amazing Hong Kong. Don't get me wrong. I really did want to tour and I wanted to see Hong Kong and I planned to go back there as soon as possible. But I had an opportunity to work with the best in terms of the spotting and loading and also to work at the highest international level possible. And I wasn't going to let those opportunities go. So it's about valuing what we're able to do and, as Nigel Reisner says, being in the room when we're in the room. It's taking advantage of the opportunities that we have right in front of us that we're busy with at the moment and not regretting or being resentful for what we're not able to do. I had an opportunity to work with and learn from the very best and I made sure that I did that to the fullest extent possible. So guys, get out there, surround yourselves with people who are the best in their craft, the best at what they do, and take as much from them as you can. Everything they're willing to share with you, grab it with both hands. Become the very best version of yourself on a daily basis. It's about what we have in front of us right now that we have to maximize. I love you guys. Have an epic day. Oos.